Hey, what's going on guys? Help with that here. I want to discuss nutrition timing and it's important. Is it important? No, it is important. Well, that's debatable. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of why we want to make this video is because there's some things that I've read while doing research on this that say as long as you get your daily calories in, daily macros, then you're cool. You can eat it in one meal, you can eat it in three meals, you can eat it in 50 meals. No. Just as long as you get your, well probably <laughs> not, but just as long as you get your macros in uh, throughout the day, or that day, then you're good. And I've heard that your body is hungriest at certain times. So right when you wake up in the morning, post-workout is huge. That's why a lot of people have a protein shake post-workout. Um, but I also heard a different thing on like creatine. Like if you take creatine, you can take it, they, the studies show that you can take it any time throughout the day. Don't have to take it pre-workout, don't have to take it post-workout, don't have to take it during workout, but any time throughout the day, and it's gonna have the exact same effect. And it's been across the board that way with all the studies they've done on creatine. The only creatine they've really studied is monohydrate to have improvements. Yeah, so that's one thing that is proven that it doesn't really matter. Now, uh, I still like to take it when I'm most likely to get the creatine uh, with, with an insulin spike or a small insulin spike. So the best times for me to do that, since generally throughout the day I like to keep my insulin low, as most people should, I like to take it right when I wake up in the morning and then post-workout. So and, I'll, and that's the same thing with me with proteins. Like when I wake up, I'll have a, I'll slam like a little whey protein shake, whatever, and then post-workout I'll have like a, a weight gain or whatever. So I weigh 205 right now. I'm taking 10 grams of creatine a day. And then, like I said, in the morning, and post workout. So that's. And I'm taking five right now, five grams of creatine. I just started like two years ago. I have taken creatine for a long time. I'm a 6'3, about 200 pounds. I take two and a half grams pre workout and two and a half grams post workout. Yeah. So, but as far as nutrition, <clears throat> for me, I don't, I don't really, uh, I can't really tell you uh, which, if, if uh, nutrition timing is really important or not yet. I'm still kind of trying to figure that out, but I do believe in a couple things. I guess mainly because I've heard it so much, uh, uh, post-workout slight insulin spike, and what I usually have is something that contains dextrose, and it's about hopefully like 35 grams. An insulin it. spike is referring to a driving agent that's going to help you push it to where you want it to go. And since your muscles are the hungriest post-workout, it's going to hopefully drive it into those muscles. Now, on the contrary, if you We'll have do a whole video on insulin, though, so... Okay, but regardless, the dextrose, the reason that it's, uh... You want to keep it only post-workout is because throughout the day you don't want it spiking, or you don't want it driving through your body when your muscles aren't hungry, because then you're, this is going to drive into your adipose tissue. And when, yeah, when your insulin spikes, fat burn completely stops. Yep. So, and it also can cause you to store fat. So anyways, but back to what I was saying about nutrition, timing, I still, just because I've been doing this for a while, time the insulin spike post-workout, and, and I try to have more casein protein towards night, and then like when I wake up, I have usually have whey, but actually today I even switched and every every uh, workout shake I've had a shake that contains whey and casein. So right now I'm kind of doing a kind of a study with myself to see what works with me. And I <clears throat> the only thing I'm doing timing wise is drinking the post workout uh, Gatorade, which contains dextrose, to get that insulin spike. But I'm still I just got done working out and I'm eating uh, avocado right now, which contains a lot of fat, which usually you don't want after a workout because it slows digestion. Fat and glucose. But what I'm doing is I want to see if calories in, calories out, uh, timing doesn't matter, applies. And I'm gonna and I'll let you guys know, you know, what happens. But I'm basically spreading out my calories, fat, carb, protein intake, basically evenly throughout the day, and hitting my macros, which right now it's about 3,500 calories. And I'll let you know how that goes. So, but some people swear by, like, even not having carbs and fats at the same time. Sometimes they'll, or like, more earlier in the day, they'll have most of their carbs, or around their workout time, and then afterwards, 
they'll have fat, just fats. So anyways, what do you guys think? Let us know. Make a video of your own. Comment. Uh, what do you guys think about that debate, which is ongoing, obviously, and I don't, I don't think there's a clear answer on it. So I don't know. Like, but everything I've heard is just there's a definite time we need to absorb nutrients. All right. Let us know what you guys think. Call for thought. For thought.